always thought my father died of heart disease. Just found out that's not true. He committed suicide. Man, grow the fuck up. Oh, I'm sick of your whining ass. I don't know why. Why he would do that to himself. You acting like a little bitch. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Another Dexter teaser reaction. We know Dexter kidnapped Dokes. Now we find out Dexter killed Harry. Well, not like killed him, like stabbed him. He had a heart attack when he walked in and seen Dexter killed the guy that got away. And when he walked in and seen Dexter kill the guy that got away, he just had a heart attack. <sighs> Marie's still riding hard for dopes. She came up with some evidence, but the old man wasn't buying it because she didn't report the phone call. And the old man made some sense. He was like, if you would have reported the phone call, we could have brought dopes in. And I got to thinking, God damn. God motherfucking damn. But since Marie was on the phone call with him and she didn't report it, that was like tampering with evidence or whatever. So he couldn't use the evidence because she didn't report Should it. Should I talk about Deb? Deb and that Marticia bitch is by far the most annoying characters on this fucking show. Deb having a fucking bitch fit because the old man said, when I'm done, I'm leaving. And Deb was like, Angel finally get the yams. After she made that motherfucking simp paint her whole goddamn house. Okay? Yeah. Paint her whole motherfucking house. And Angel's like, I hope this is worth it. I hope, I, I hope this is worth it. <laughs> the crazy Marticia bitch, after she fucked Angel, she jumps up, goes into the bathroom, start taking some dope, chug some damn wine, and pass the fuck out like she OD'd. I don't know what the fuck that shit about. At the end of the episode, that's to bring this guy in there. And Dos is begging him not to do it. Not to do it. Don't kill him. And Dexter's talking big boy shit again. You killed people when you was in the special forces. You should be used to it. <laughs> I mean, he just talking big boy shit. 
So he put plaster all around the cage and chopped that motherfucker up. And Dokes like goes into fucking shock. Like, stay a, stay the fuck away from me. You sick fuck. Just stay the fuck away from me. You sick fuck. Like Dokes just went into shock. They framing my boy. It don't look like he gonna get out this shit. Old man was right. Marie should have turned turned it in or said something that would have saved Dope's life. Even they would have just brought him in. Dope would have told everybody it was fucking Dexter and what he got out of his fucking apartment. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have the fucking blood. He got it from Dexter. I don't know why Dope just didn't tell Marie that it's Dexter that's doing all this. That would have got them through a loop and a monkey wrench and all the fucking shit. All right, y'all. Y'all enjoy this fucking teaser. This is Dexter, episode ten. Love y'all. I'm not a killer. You are. Woo, this piece of shit. That's why you have more officer-related shootings than anybody else. Only I don't fuck with you when you shoot somebody. Why couldn't you pay me the same Let's professional courtesy? No. I mean, both of them are right. Or set me free. What's it gonna be? I actually think you'd like it if I killed you just to prove your point. Well, then you gotta choose. No, I need to go home. I've got FBI guards standing outside my door right now. Dexter on this motherfucker talking some big shit. He talking some big, big boy shit. Ask me, I'm a bargain. <laughs> I got FBI agents to protect me from you. <laughs> he talking some big boy shit. Oh, excellent. My subpoena for Dope's phone records came through. He isn't much of a talker. Not a lot of friends, I'm guessing. That's Lieutenant Laguerta's phone number, and look at the time and date. You're gonna ream her, aren't you? Kind of beat every do it. It's kind of a hobby of mine. You can ream her yourself. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! So, a uh, reaming will be good practice for you after I'm gone. I better refrigerate this. She is so fucking dingy! What year was this recorded? What year? They act like two kids in a fucking playground. Dopes called Marie at this time. Oh, we didn't see the, see dopes. I mean, she act like dopes is a complete fucking stranger. I just cannot take Dab serious. I just cannot take her serious. She act like a child, like a, a child in a toy store. Like, I don't understand how she even a police officer. She coming to work like it's a fucking uh, dating game. How can anybody take her serious? The blow to the head killed her. She took a brutal beating beforehand. The guy who did this is an evil bastard. You know who it was? Oh, yeah. I've been trying to nail him for a while. Pip and Juan Rines. She was you didn't report girls. the call from Dokes. Your task force doesn't need my help railroading a good cop. She pissing me off. She pissing Dope's me off. It's officially a person of interest. Not reporting that call could be considered aiding and abetting. None of you wanted to hear what he had to say, so I didn't tell you. Damn right. Fucking trick. What did he have to say? Fuck you now! He's innocent. And you believe him? Yeah, bitch! What do you think? Do you ever care about anyone, Morgan? Then you shouldn't have to ask. Because when you care about someone, you do what you have to do. The only thing you care about is the fucking D. Because serial killers are so practical. He's not a That's serial killer. Deb, I'm safer with Lundy's troops hunting dokes than babysitting me. Lundy agrees. That's because Lundy doesn't give a shit. All he cares about is solving his case and moving on. Shut up! Shut up! She mad because her boo leaving. You are the only one I can count on, jackass. 
my dad. God! Strange as it may seem, I have people who depend on me. They would be devastated if they found out what I do. But you, Sergeant, you're more of a lone wolf. Easier to put down. No one in the pack to miss you. Fuck you. That <laughs> motherfucker. They never told you. Told me, told me what? What about my father? What about my father? Yesterday morning, you said when the case ends, we end. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> God damn! Honestly, I hadn't thought about it, but it looks like you have, so now I know. Consider me informed. What a dumb broad. Give a fuck what y'all think. Deb is fucking annoying. That's a dumb broad. You mind if I take a rain check? You know, with your history with Dexter, it might be a little awkward. He's trying to work things out with the reader. Oh, fuck. You shouldn't have said that shit. Well, he don't notice nothing. Have a great day. He don't um, notice shit. I found something I wasn't supposed to see. It's about your father's death. Heart disease. Big mystery. No, the mystery's bigger than that. And someone up high didn't want it solved. That happens all the time. People accidentally take the wrong dose. He called me the day before he died. He asked me to keep an eye on you and your sister. I didn't realize what that call meant until he was gone. So I made sure that autopsy never saw the light of day. I will ignore it because you gave me no choice, lady. Those are your personal laws. Lady. And your credibility was compromised the second you failed to report a phone call from the subject of a goddamn FBI manhunt. It was a breach of protocol and ethics. And you're lucky I don't bring you up on charges. What really pisses me off is you might be right. I always thought my father died of heart disease. But I just found out that's not true. He committed suicide. Man, grow the fuck up. I'm sick of your whining ass. I don't know why, why he would do that to himself. You acting like a little bitch. And the truth is, you know I, mean? I had no fucking idea. And that was exciting. The not knowing what might happen, what could be. It was all possibility. Jesus. Christ. And when you just assumed that we ended when the case ended, you crushed that. Cry me a fucking river. Shut up! And I want it back. Want to know what I thought would happen when the case ended? What? I thought the novelty of my AARP discount would wear off and you'd get tired of me. Oh my god. This is what you seem to never said. <laughs> I feel like I'm good. Gross. <laughs> my hero. This place looks like brand new. It's my pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. From the fumes. <laughs> my pleasure. All this for yams. How do you wore me out? You can jack Every off. Run in the sand. It'd be cheaper. Never run. I wish you the best of luck. Now, come on, Morgan. We were just getting somewhere, you and me. You ain't got to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll, we'll find a way. I'm afraid this is the only way for me. Is she gonna crack this motherfucker up me, in I front of dopes? Jesus. Did this bitch don't OD?
begin with It be feeling like the devil's who I'm friends with I'm hell bent on revenge shit When I get mad it begins but never ends shit It's like a moth to a flame Like a torch full of pain I be angry and insane I be banging my brain against my emotions My heart talking but my soul lost They all say I got this spark but it's so off They all tell me that I'm smart but I'm so off I'm like a foot with the toe off I'm like a knee with the bones missing I'm like a bone but with no gristle I'm like a shooter but with no pistol I suppose I glows but who knows If it snows then I'm froze Those holes can't expose me I'm down in the gutter but coast I'm down at the bottom but it feels like the nose bleeds Fuck I don't know Like it's butter on a hot stove So much that they do not know I hide the 